Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is um, Olga Kulikova, and I'm uh, apart from being a member of uh, Russian Indian Trade Council, I'm also a member of Business Russia, which is um, you know, one of um, the largest uh, business uh, communities in Russia, and it comprises more than 7,000 uh, businesses from all parts of Russia. And thus, um, I have um, experience with um, many different uh, uh, companies from different industries. And uh, uh, I also myself have uh, experience with working uh, uh, in the Indian company ONGC, that is Oil and Gas Corporation of India. Uh, so I'm quite familiar with uh, what's happening uh, in that part of the world. Uh, so um, uh, let's start with, uh, uh, so today we will talk mostly about uh, business communication and uh, uh, what are the specifics of uh, B2B sales in the Indian market, because uh, um, in my understanding, the basics information uh, you can read uh, uh, you can Google, uh, but um, you know, more uh, precise uh, information, the one that comes from experience, uh, it's better uh, to share with everyone. So it would not be experience for you uh, in the, uh, when you decide to enter the Indian market. Uh, so um, let's go to the next slide, please. Mm, and um, uh, no, previous, uh, previous. Yes, uh, so um, uh, good understanding of um, the values, uh, beliefs and assumptions of the Indian culture and uh, how they manifest, uh, the Indian business people manifest themselves in the market uh, are essential for the success of your business. A good way to seek a more positive answer, I would say is to rephrase the question. And uh, for, ex for instance, if you're trying to secure a meeting and there is some evasion, one approach is to ask uh, what day and time would be convenient to meet. Uh, similarly, if um, there is a resistance in uh, uh, providing a purchase order, the question could be asked when it is likely uh, that a purchase order will be raised. So um, in my experience, uh, this type of questioning um, may provide more me meaningful uh, responses. Uh, so you can get um, faster uh, to the answer that uh, you are looking for. Uh, so if, if we go to the next slide and um, uh, we proceed to, to the peculiarities of the meetings uh, and negotiations, I would say that you need to give as much warning uh, as possible of your trip dates and uh, try to schedule your meetings well in advance. Mm, thing is, uh, it, it's from my recent experience is uh, we're trying to fix a meeting with uh, some Indian coal companies and uh, they tell us, okay, guys, you first please come uh, to India and uh, then let us know that you're in India. And after that, uh, we will uh, let you know the time and date when you can come and have a meeting with us. So, so negotiations uh, can be slow. Uh, you need to be patient and demonstrate uh, good character. Um, and uh, um, so if we go to, um, to the next slide, uh, that's about uh, understanding business relationships. So I, I am, you know, pointed out some uh, um, key uh, key points uh, to my mind that's, uh, that are important. So uh, first of all, um, your partner will base his decision on trust and intuition as much on statistics and data. I have come uh, through this many, many times. Um, also very important to have good relations. Yeah, not only good working relations, but good personal relations. That's extremely important, but I will talk about that also a little bit later. Mm. And uh, of course, small talk uh, and, uh, and uh, just gen general uh, conversations are also very important because uh, uh, my main belief is the success in communication with the Indian business is uh, becoming a uh, friend of uh, Indian business. Uh, and the uh, thing 
uh, which you don't have to do, and actually I strongly recommend not to do, is uh, to copy the Western um, uh, model uh, to go uh, straight into the business issue and um, start setting the times, the limits and everything. So I think that it is um, a little bit, um, you know, uh, will be uh, not perceived as uh, um, you know a uh, well uh, good practice I would say. So if we go to the next slide, uh, it would be about the role of uh, hierarchy in uh, the business. So of course, um, Indian businesses are very hierarchically uh, structured. Mm -hmm. So in, of course, in most cases, decisions are made by uh, people at the high level and uh, uh, roles are well, uh, well defined. Though some, uh, if we go to some um, practice cases, I tried to find the, uh, the ones uh, that are, the, would uh, characterize the best. Uh, the, um, some peculiarities of Indian character, so you would be more, you know, familiar with that. So uh, once we had a case about the Indian uh, cosmetic producer, uh, so uh, he was uh, he was controlling the whole process. The idea was about importing cosmetic products in uh, in Russia and getting them certified. So we had. Every every detail checked uh, at every moment. So cost of every document, every certificate, uh, they um, checked for alternative uh, options, uh, delivery certification, checked all the numbers, and uh, uh, so the the result was that uh, they sent uh, the samples for registration at the lowest rate, but it was uh, not. Uh, uh, the right one. So finally, of course, uh, the costs uh, doubled, even tripled, and we had to send the samples back. So unfortunately, this uh, precise uh, economy on each each coin, it didn't uh, bring good result. Yeah, so that was a lesson for us. Uh, also, uh, the next one, we were organizing the startup event. Uh, and the uh, uh, everybody was, uh, you know, all seven people involved. They were checking, everybody was checking all the, uh, the uh, tasks, uh, checking current uh, status. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, they were all concerned mainly about uh, participation of senior officials and everything that dealt with, uh, that was connected with them. And uh, finally, the, the result was that it was organized in the best way, but efforts and nerves that it, uh, uh, had taken that was drastically a lot and um, yeah, we were not prepared for that but now we we know it was our first experience uh, so the third one uh, we had a case of transportation of uh, dangerous cargo uh, uh, so the Indian um, uh, 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 cargo carrier uh, uh, agreed on uh, uh, transportation of uh, dangerous cargo and we confirmed everything for the client and we were happy and uh, we were started drafting the document but uh, and then uh, suddenly the Indian company disappeared uh, for about uh, maybe a week and a half and it turned out that they didn't uh, mm, and they forgot that the cargo was dangerous and uh, finally they could and they couldn't do it but uh, they, all this time, they didn't tell us no. And uh, unfortunately, it caused us a lot of delays. And uh, now we also have a very good lesson that uh, uh, if company disappears for some time, uh, meaning that there are some problems and we need to, you know, to start um, doing some real active cases. Um, and the fourth um, important hint that uh, we actually now understand is uh, now everybody wants to go to large corporations you know tata mahindra reliance these are names that uh, you know pretty well and uh, uh, but um, i would say that it is better to go to uh, small and uh, medium-sized companies uh, and uh, because they can be more um, 
you know, they are more hungry for business. They're more hungry for um, cooperation and uh, for finding uh, different opportunities for you and uh, uh, for your businesses. And uh, I think I think it is one of the most important things because when you have uh, eyes burning, yeah, it means that business can be uh, can be there. So if we go to uh, some statistics, please uh, go to the next slide. Uh, yeah, here it's um, we have total users eighty five million, active users one million, total employees uh, twenty three million, and. Uh, um, uh, total employees from state-owned companies 62 million and top managers 1 million so compared to Indian population I would say that not that's not a lot but um, they are uh, the number of uh, uh, users is uh, rising so I believe that uh, we don't have that much time so I would ask uh, to skip this uh, next slide and the next Please go. I think it's very important. Uh, just uh, uh, some some things about B two B sales. What's important? Steps: research, connect, interaction, connection, practice, and uh, and uh, um, repeat of the process. So what I mean? First of all, very important to research the market, research on your product of uh, the price, awareness, uh, branding, uh, everything. It's number one. I think without this, absolutely useless to enter Indian market. So step number two, uh, you have to connect and to communicate. Uh, communication and connection in India, it's everything. So step number three, you need to get support. I, I believe, that's my strongest belief. If you go directly, it's very difficult in India. You need to have an experienced player and more, more of that, you need to have a trustful player. So um, uh, this would help you, you know, to avoid a lot of mistakes. Um, after, uh, after you're done uh, with uh, uh, exploring uh, entering the market, um, you need um, uh, you need to find the really dedicated uh, salesful force people who can demonstrate uh, uh, your product and can prove that uh, they are worth uh, being a member of your team. That's extremely important. And uh, next one is, of course, to make the demonstration of, the, uh, of your business according to the standards of uh, the Indian um expectations the indian businesses expectations of how the presentation has to be how, how it has to look like sometimes that it is extremely important uh so if you have any questions that uh, i might um uh answer please ask me so i think that's uh, all by now uh i hope i could make a quick um review of um the basic uh, you know um uh, characteristics of uh, uh I, I would say apl applicable uh, characteristics of doing business in india and uh, i hope uh, that was understandable and will be uh, very helpful for you in your business so thank you very much and um, if you have any questions please i'll be happy thank to you. answer thank you so much olga for your practical experience for sharing it with us uh, um, our first question is about, uh, you mentioned that, uh, for example, presentations which you prepare can be not understandable for, um, for the, your target audience in India. Uh, what do you mean? Maybe some visual language, some specifics? Could you please just share what, <laughs> how, how it should look like? Yeah, so the, uh, the main idea is uh, that um, uh, the format, the visualization, uh, if you correctly mentioned, uh, um, they're actually different and uh, all, uh, it's like when ad advertising is uh, um, adopted to uh, adapt the, the, to each market, uh, the same with the presentation of the product. It has to be um, uh, particularly dedicated to the country you enter. And that's about India, um, very important. So visualization using particular uh, wordings. Uh, so English language. Yeah, 
Thank you. Uh, and we, we have this maybe tricky questions. Uh, what you sh definitely shouldn't do um, in the in terms of the communication uh, on the Indian market, like some maybe awkward situations or <laughs> something like this. Um, well, uh, some awkward. <laughs> there were so many awkward situations. <laughs> um, so. Um, Mm, I would say uh, that um, definitely never agree on the first offer that you get. Uh, so, because the uh, first offer, um, you know, many, many countries, um, you know, people in many countries, they like bargaining. And uh, I believe uh, bargaining is also about Indian people. Yeah. So maybe not so uh, uh, clearly. Uh, so, uh, so first offer is uh, always, at least from my experience, there's always a check. Uh, what would be your response? Mm, so uh, after you get the no uh, first offer, you need to bargain. So I would say never agree on the first offer. <laughs> okay, interesting tip. And uh, could you please tell us more about what you do with uh, businesses? As I understood, you help businesses to enter Indian market, right? How, how you do it? Maybe uh, yes. Uh, so uh, our main competence is uh, bringing bringing companies into the Indian market, and uh, uh, for um, we've been doing it for three years now. Uh, for each company, we uh, prepare um, a special entry plan. Let's call it like this, because each product is uh, um, is different. Uh, so we do it uh, different ways. Either we um, or um, start organizing the communication with the targeted uh, company who is the buyer the seller or uh, whoever uh, the partner the potential partner of the company uh, either we start uh, working with um, uh, with the uh, different platforms uh, marketplaces uh, that's a different approach uh, or uh, we, um, we go through different also associations because uh, Business Russia is a, pa a partner to many Indian uh, main associations like uh, CII, FIKI, TPCI, um, yeah, trade, uh, trade Chamber of Commerce, you know, and many others. So that, that's also the way. Um, or um, we start uh, using our uh, you know, contacts <laughs> that we already have <laughs> so uh, these people who are in business and they are more flexible, you know, they are ready to look for the new opportunities. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Thank you for sharing. And uh, for example, you start uh, working with some businesses. Do you help them with marketing and sales as well, right? So using your yes, connections? Yes, of course. No, of course. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, marketing. Uh, so as I told in my presentation, uh, making research on the market is extremely important, especially for India, because India, all states of India are different. They're like different countries. You know, so, you know, there's European Union. I would say it's a Indian Union as well, because all states are very different. So if you go to, uh, to one state, maybe the rules and the uh, um, traditions of um, the market of the other state are completely different. So that's why to all our companies, we as a must, we do a market research. So because there are actually a few points to address. Uh, firstly, the, the location of the market. Second, the price. The price is extremely important because Indian clients are very sensitive on price. And uh, uh, number three is of course the quality. So uh, all this, uh, we do all these three checks um, in the market research. Uh, uh, after that, based on the results, uh, we start a new marketing campaign if that is required, or based on that, we choose the proper channel of entering the market. Thank you. And what are the main channels uh, to enter the Indian markets? Maybe marketing channels and sales channels. So sales channels, I uh, you I would not surprise you that uh, marketplaces, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Right now, because the the speed of their 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 I don't know how even the proper word to use the the uh, their enlarging <laughs> their growth is extreme in India now. Uh, so and the second uh, channel is uh, we go through the distributors. 
that's ch channel number two. So either uh, either distributors in the market or distributors from the market. I guess um, uh, most uh, the largest ones uh, we already know, so we can communicate with them. That actually makes the process of um, you know um, fixing communications faster. Yeah, thank you. And for example, if I would like to, I know, to meet a lot of people in India in IT uh, industry, for example, uh, what kind of event maybe uh, should I visit or some other <laughs> approach uh -huh. I can use? So um, that's uh, conferences and exhibitions. That's a must because uh, in India it's very important uh, to be there. And uh, I, I myself attended a few of them. It's amazing. Uh, so very important to be present at that uh, you know space. Uh, and uh, the other variant is of course to use different uh, projects. For example, Bombay Stock Exchange. They have program for IT startups, and um, they uh, actually help companies to penetrate into their ecosystem. And from our experience, almost every state in India also has uh, things like that. So I would recommend to uh, to make a search or to find people like us who would uh, help uh, to uh, to find uh, such um, um, I don't know ecosystems. I would say uh, so that helps because uh, having a you know big umbrella it's very important. And when you are under big umbrella. In India, like everywhere in the world, that opens uh, many doors. Yeah, great. Thank you. And the last question is about, uh, we know that in some countries, uh, it's not recommended to contact several people from the one company at once. For example, send them messages or emails or something like this. That, for example, you, are, uh, you have the main contact you talk to and... Uh, and you talk to this person only. Uh, is it applicable to India or it's a bit different? Well, it's a good question. Uh, frankly speaking, I don't know because we didn't have uh, a lot of experience in that. Actually, we had maybe uh, two cases, uh, but we actually contacted everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, because, it was you know, okay. yeah. yeah, it was okay because, uh, you know, in our case, when you want to get a result, you use all um, possible variants and uh, means. So I don't know, maybe it doesn't work for other, other countries, or companies, but the ones we used to work with, it was okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Olga. Thank you for your positivity and experience. And uh, yeah, <laughs> really appreciate that.